Alright, if you've never done one of these, let me show you guys how to do one. Uh, these are Inkies, they're the same name as Ken Ken's. <coughs> In here they have something called cages. The cages are the darkened ones, so we can't see that. Make that very clear. Recommend doing <coughs> these in pencil. <coughs> So this is a 3 by 3 so I'm only going to use the numbers 1, 2, and 3. Now within the top left it tells you a math operation and after the math operation what the number should be. Now this is never a negative one so I can only use the numbers positive 1, positive 2, positive 3 if I increase them. So for example in this cage there are three boxes and these three numbers need to multiply to be 9. These need to be multiplying to be 2. Now I have to use for each row, everyone say a row, a row. the numbers 1, 2, and 3. And class this one is called a column. In a column I need the numbers 1, 2, and 3. This is just like a Sudoku. It's okay when you start in the beginning you kind of need to guess and you can erase. So I need two numbers that multiply to be 2. That's only numbers 1 and 2. I need uh, three numbers that multiply to be 9. So I'm thinking 3, 1, and 3. Recognize that I did not put the 3 over here because I would have repeating 3s. So that would be bad. I can't put a 1 here because that would be repeating. Now, can you have repeating numbers in a cage? Yes, you can. So now I have the numbers 1, 2, and 3. 1 times 2 is 2. 3 times 1 times 3 is 9. So class, this column is missing 2. Therefore, this one is missing. So 3 minus 2 gives us a 1. What number is missing? And what number is missing? And these two numbers subtract to be 1. So go back and check all your math operations, make sure you have no repeating numbers in the columns, sorry, rows, and no repeating numbers in the columns, <coughs> and check that the math operations.